Per Ericsson. So here we are in Sweden. Uh, we're on our way to the one Michelin star restaurant PMO Venner in Växjö. And we're there to meet with the chef and creative director Per Bengtsson. <music> As you can see, I'm driving in Audi A5 e-tron that runs on biogas. And as you all know, biogas is made from waste from restaurants and the food industry. Audi is focusing on sustainability and so are the top chefs in Sweden and in the rest of the world. Let's see if you can combine a taste of Sweden and how you can link that to a more sustainable and environmental consciousness. If you were to explain for somebody that's never been to PM Venner here in Växjö, what would you say? We started in 92 and when we really set up the, the, our philosophy of Forest Lake and Meadow uh, 94, 95, this was really, really something new. In, in, in the Nordic countries because at that time everyone was very influenced by France or Italy or probably Spain but, but France was really dominating still in, in, in the kitchens of, of, of Scandinavia and some people were laughing you know when I put on the menu where the potato came from and who was the one who was hunting and all the, where, where the game came from and what, 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 everything was from the region and stuff. So for me, still, I think that is really, really important to, uh, to underline uh, that we really want to show uh, what is unique with our region, which is, um, I mean, it's, it's the most southern deep forest of Scandinavia. This is, if you come through Denmark from the south and, and approach uh, south of Sweden, this is the first place where you really hit the deep forest of Sweden. And still, it's only two hours from Copenhagen. And, but we have all this game, we have all these mushrooms, all these unique berries. We have seven climate zones in this region, which is unique, and, uh, which makes uh, the, the raw material unique. And I really want everyone to come here to feel that. And also feel the whole, the whole the, the philosophy in the house. It, it, it has to be one string. I mean, we have hotel. We have a breakfast, which I think is really, really symptomatic about that. You get really flavor from the region, even when you go and, and, and have your breakfast in the house. Uh, we have a bakery, which is organic, and, and all the breads are, uh, I mean, inherited from my grandmothers, and, and the recipes are, are like uh, the, the, the ones where I grew up with, with my, my grandmothers. So th that's what I wanted to, to really show, that we are, uh, we are really digging where we are and, and we want everyone to feel that when they leave the house, that they, they got a little piece of the deep forest of Sweden, but in the, in the south part. How did you get into the restaurateur business from the very start? Uh, when, I was, uh, when I was a student, young student, uh, I was very, very into to, to, to start working in the restaurants and I, I did during, I mean, even you know, when I was 15, 14 years old. Uh, but my parents said, you know, are you crazy? Are you going to be a chef with those grades, you know? I mean, you should go to university, whatever. Um, so I'm probably the last generation listening to my parents. Uh, the parents, so I, so I said, well, you know, um, uh, I hear what you say, but I'm always going to work in the restaurant business. I, I started as a chef and a trainee chef in, in doing weekends and night shifts and, 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 and so on. And um, kind of, I never, I never let my dream go. What is the trigger uh, in the food business for you? I see myself more or less, uh, and I've always done, as a, as a director. I, I, I think the, the, the metaphor of, of, of setting up a play or uh, making a movie is very, very similar to, uh, to, uh, to putting up a show in, in the in, in, in a high level of gastronomy. I mean, it's, it's a show every night and it has to be consistent. Uh, it has to be a lot of details, paying attention to details. Um, it has to have a lot of uh, uh, actors, both uh, really uh, main roles, but also, you know, some other characters. 
uh, and, and to set up that show and uh, understand that you got a specific style uh, that belongs here in this uh, surrounding here. Uh, but as I understand, you have also built a very holistic concept around that idea. When I came home from France, uh, uh, I was really influenced by, by how they were so proud about the region, uh, the, 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 the philosophy of, 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 of the, and the culture of, of, and the heritage and everything. And I felt, you know, why has no one tried to really uh, show uh, the uniqueness of our region? I mean, um, this region is probably the most famous region in, in Sweden for, for entrepreneurship. I mean, it's a home of IKEA, it's a, it's a home of uh, Carl von Linnaeus, our most famous scientist that, that set up the, the floral system. Uh, I mean, we have some iconic people in the region, Asta Lindgren with all the children books, like Pippi Longstrump and, uh, and Emil and Lönneberg and so on. And I figured, why has never one in my trade uh, set that in a context. Uh, so it's, it's, it's more about a feeling. From, it's coming from inside, it's from my heart. It's, it's not a concept that I came up with. It's more or less uh, heritage, I think. So, so I wanted to, to show the, um, the diversity and the variety of our region. To be able to build this holistic concept that you are doing, uh, with the bistro and with the hotel and with your wine cellar and your fine dining, and the canteen, uh, where do you find the right produce and products to be able to fulfill that holistic concept? I drove around knocking doors and asking them uh, if they wanted to, to, to be a supplier for us because I admired their products and, and I, didn't, I couldn't find the products in restaurants but I knew that those guys were, 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 were uh, incredible good at what they're doing. So, um, so I was pretty much uh, uh, begging them for 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 uh, being partners. That, that's why the name is PM Venner, which literally means PM and friends, because friends means that they are supposed. I hope also that they really do to to feel that they're more than suppliers, they're more than partners. They are friends. You have a specific concept uh, that you call forest, fields, and the sea. Mm -hmm. What do your what are you looking for in that concept? I always see in the year uh, as, 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 as a, a three-part uh, thing. I mean, in the forest you have so much in the fall. You have the mushrooms, the berries, and, and, and the game in the fall. You have all the, 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 the stuff from the fields in the summer. And, and uh, literally we have so much from the sea in the, in the winter in this part of the world. Uh, but, uh, I mean, we are an inland uh, place, so we have so many sweet water fish here. We have the sweet water crayfish, we have so many pitch perk, and, and I mean, I can name so many different fishes that no one really works with. So here we are in the wine cellar of PM Vendor, together with the sommelier, Ruben San Rimero. Uh, and this is an old bank vault, as I understand. Exactly. Uh, and it's one of the biggest wine cellars in Scandinavia as well. So tell me, how do you build a profile of a wine cellar like this? Mm -hmm. in, in 2013, uh, the cellar was already extraordinary. Uh, and um, our standing foundation was already here. And we just keep working with the same idea in mind, um, searching for great wines, uh, whatever they're coming from, and um, trying to create a destination that can satisfy any, um, anyone who wants to come and enjoy wine. How many bottles do you have here in your wine cellar? And do you have any highlights? Mm -hmm. Well, give it a take around 15,000. Uh, we have wow. approximately um, around 4,600 different wines currently in our, in our wine list. We try to please uh, our, every, everyone that comes here, eh? every type of palate and uh, every guest. Um, is, uh, we, we try to find a wine um, for that particular individual. However, of course, we have certain wines that are, that are um, 
can put it into the context of uh, of uh, very special wines and being highlights. I mean, the first um, and the wine, without a doubt, it will be the the, the most iconic wine that is produced today. Uh, the myth, uh, the great grand cru uh, uh, Romani Conti by Tomena Romani Conti. I've been touched that uh, also absolutely uh, extraordinary, although I, I will wait. We do also have a um, wonderful and classic selection of uh, another uh, historic um, uh, uh, region such as Bordeaux uh, and uh, from um, uh, outstanding vintages such as 82 from uh, first growth Mouton, uh, Mouton Rocher. Um, and then we do have uh, perhaps ones that are not as iconic, but nevertheless uh, truly extraordinary and not so easy to find, but due to um, our labor and, and good relationships and, um, and uh, ones that are close to our hearts, it will be um, something like this uh, rare Cuvée Vie Vigne by one of our most beloved uh, domains in the Northern Rhone, uh, Domaine Pierre Conon, located in, uh, in Maub, uh, within the Appalachian of Saint Joseph. Um, they just make one barrel of this every year. As you know, among the top restaurants uh, in the world, uh, the no waste kitchen is a really big concept. Mm -hmm. uh, and you being one of the top restaurants here in Scandinavia, what's your take on that, on sex sustainability and the, uh, the consciousness about the environment? We started up this a very, very long time ago. We, um, we did a project with the municipality in, the, in, in this region. And uh, so uh, if we ever have any, uh, any waste, we, uh, we, um, the, 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 the town takes care of that, so the buses are uh, driven by, by the waste. And uh, when we started this 15, 16 years ago, we um, collaborated with, with the, the authorities. And, and today, I think pretty much every restaurant in the region is, is involved. Now you got your Michelin star. Uh, you got loads of awards on your walls here. Uh, you got uh, a good concept going. Uh, there's always packed with people here, hard to get tables. Uh, where will you go from now? Well, a <laughs> um, couple of years ago I decided to put all the diplomas in the garage. So we have, <laughs> we have all the diplomas in the garage to, to show um, the ones who want to see our history. Uh, they can see it, but for me it's, it's just uh, history. Um, I mean, I've always been a person that uh, I'm, 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 I get tired uh, when, when, uh, when I don't have new challenges. Uh, I will never be the fat cat. Um, I, I, I think it's so boring. So, I mean, we want to develop. Uh, we have a big team here now. We have never been this good, I think, at least um, uh, staff-wise. We have a great, uh, great uh, bunch of people. Uh, that are very devoted and we, we share our mission and we everyone knows very well what, what, what way we are and what we want to do. And some of the restaurants get three stars and everything of course uh, as a person from the deep forest of South Sweden you, <laughs> one gets very excited you know it's challenging so of course we have uh, new goals and everything but uh, but the the, 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 the the overall goal is to put up a, a better show the, the key word in house in the house here is evolution. It's not revolution. It's evolution. Uh, if you were to give uh, an advice to a young person that wants to become a chef, what would that be? Believe in yourself. Follow your passion. And most of all, don't don't ever take any shortcuts. Mm -hmm.